Hey there guys, welcome to our channel or welcome back to our channel. My name is Sherry and on our channel we have a lot of fun. I do a lot of vlogs, I do motherhood related videos, but I also do DIYs. And so today's video is kind of a DIY, but it's also a video for me to just kind of share with you one of my favorite things lately and that is decorating with nature. It is absolutely free. Um, everything that I get is from my property, my yard. We live out in the country as you can see here and so everything that I've gotten I have not stolen or anything from anyone and so um, I just wanted to note that in here but if you guys like um, maybe more of like a natural decor style but you don't want to spend any money on it I highly recommend giving this a try it's been a lot of fun it's also gotten me out into nature I mean it's 40 degrees today it's a beautiful day to be outside and so I'm very excited to share with you some of the things that I like to collect it's a really great time of year to collect some of these things. Um, I live in Minnesota and so wherever you live there are beautiful things that you can find. It doesn't matter you don't have to be from up north. Maybe you are going on a trip and you want to collect some things to remind you of your time. Whatever it is it's a really great idea and I'm excited to share with you. I do also want to mention that I feel like I lose a lot of subscribers when I post videos that are not DIYs. I feel like they kind of feel like um, maybe she's not gonna do DIYs anymore and so I'm gonna kind of dip out now but I do want to encourage you just to stick around stay subscribed because I don't always do DIY videos but I will always do DIY videos at some point it's something that I'm very passionate about and so you can always expect them on my channel maybe not just every video if you like videos like this give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below make sure you're subscribed as always and I hope you enjoy this video so some of the things I already know that I want are some different kind of pine trees. So I really like these. I think they're really pretty and they stay together pretty well. So I'm going to get a few of these. So I got this type of pine tree and I also want some of that because it all looks different. You can obviously see the difference there. I think they're both so beautiful in their own way. I also really like the look of these. I think they're really pretty. I like the brown color. I think the brown mixed with the green is really beautiful. It's really amazing just to take the time and appreciate just how beautiful nature can be. I mean, if you look at this, a lot of this stuff are things that you would find in stores for a lot of money. But instead of spending all that money, you can just get it for free outside of your house. Now these trees right here, as you can see, they're very red. They're very beautiful. I'm not going to grab any because I already have some in my house that we got on a walk the other night, but you can just see, hopefully you can see up against the snow. They're just so red and I like to collect um, just different colors of things so that it kind of pops and everything doesn't look the same. But these things right here, I really like, and I'm going to get a few of these. I really like how the leaves are hanging off of them. I think it's really cute. We've got that. Look at that. That is so pretty. It's just like one big little piece there. And I already have a couple of these. I will probably grab this one. It's a little different than what I've been getting. They're like little flowers. They're very delicate. Like if you move them too much, they'll break. But I have some on my wall and they look really cute there. I also really like these. I like the light color, the very light brown color just like a tan. I think it looks really good up against my gray wall um, and my white trim. So I'll probably get some of these. I want to add in here really quick. Maybe you disagree um, with me doing this with me um, just kind of picking plants and, and things. But I do just want to say that I live in Minnesota and this is off my property, my house, my, um, my yard. And so um, this stuff grows in abundance here and it grows back. It's, you know, a lot of it I found on the ground, not even like, um, you know, connected to anything. It was just dead on the ground. And so if you disagree, that's absolutely okay but yeah I just kind of wanted to add that in there so I've got a pretty good selection here of things I just got back inside and so I've got what do I have Isaiah you know it's more uh, than I do white pine needles yeah, some white pine needles uh, spruce ferns the branches from the pine tree like this <laughs> is willow willow what are these I don't know what those are, I don't know, just but I think that grass. all of it together especially I think it just looks so beautiful and I'm really excited to decorate with it so you can also see here that I have some baby food jars with some stuff in them and I'm gonna do 
a really fun DIY that I'm so excited about. Right now, this natural woodsy outdoor look is just so my style. And yeah, it's just exciting to be able to decorate with all of it for free. I've put a little just brown flower there on this picture and I think it looks really cute. I've got some pine needles hanging up just in the corner of this picture from Hobby Lobby. I think that looks really cute as well. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is just this wall that I did up and mostly I want to show you the cattails. So those are just cattails that we got from outside free. Um, and then these little flower things, they look really good. And I think it looks really good with this style. But sorry, this is kind of a dark, small hallway, but um, I think it just looks really good with this style of just kind of that bohemian apothecary look. I've got an old, well, it's not an old hat. It looks like an old hat and then an old lunchbox. And I just made that. And so this is just another um, example of what you can do with um, just things from outside. I really, this is like one of my favorite things and it was free. So here you can see I have my little baby food jar. I've got some um, pine tree here and two pieces of twine or jute string, whatever you like to call it. And I'm basically just going to tie each one around the mason jar. It's really easy. So I'll just tie one piece just like this. And then what I like to do is just then wrap it around again, like this to the other side. And then I'm gonna tie it into a double knot to secure it down. All right, so there's one, there's one side. And so then I'm just gonna do the same exact thing with the other one. And then do that tight double knot. You can secure this down with hot glue as well. I just like to do it this way. And so now you have two sides, two pieces, and then you're gonna wanna just tie them together at the top. Just like that. And then I have to do is put whatever you want in the top and it looks really cute and you're ready to hang it up wherever you want. And of course you can cut these. I kind of like the way it looks, all of them being on there, but you can cut them, make it a little shorter, whatever you want. So see here what I did with one of these baby food jars is I just hung it on that. I think it looks really good with the cattails and that and just the rest of this wall here. And so yeah, I think that's really cute. You can really hang them wherever you want. Here are a few of those jars that I did, this little DIY. All it is is baby food jars, some jute string, and then some nature from outside, just different trees and such. It was a very easy DIY and also it was free, so I don't think that I'm gonna have them displayed this way together. I think that I'm just gonna have them all sort of around the house, maybe two of them together or something like that. I hope that I was able to just give you guys some inspiration to get outside and possibly use nature as artwork. I think it's really beautiful and it's really easy to do and it's free. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.